Hey, it's Michaela. Today I'm going to show you how you can make the most of your closet space and you can always find what you're looking for. So tips and tricks, how to fold, how to hang, how to store everything so that you can maximize the space that you have in your wardrobe. Um, and yeah, so I hope you like it. I'm going to show you how I fold denim, knits, skirts, t-shirts, and how to hang, and also how to store shoes, accessories, and so on. Now, unfortunately, I already took down my jewelry because I'm moving house, but there's a video of my jewelry collection um, going through and decluttering, so you can check that to see how I store my jewelry. Um, and yeah, so hope you like this video. Hope it can help you uh, reorganize and tidy your wardrobe and hopefully you can find your things a lot easier. So let's get into it. So how I fold t-shirts. So we're going to start off with a crop t-shirt. Now this one has a logo. So if you've got a lot of stripy shirts and you want to see what the logo is, I can show you how to fold that way too. So we start with the right side down, smooth it all out, make sure it's nice and flat. Now, normally I go by the rule of the top of the t-shirt neck down, but this way, if we do that, you hide the logo. So, we go halfway, that way you can see the little friendships, and then smooth it out with your hands, bring the t-shirt back over, we go to the other side, bring that over too. Now, this is the width that I want here. So, smooth it out, bring the other side back, and tuck in the sleeve. Now, slide across with your hands to make sure it's nice and flat. Then I use my hand as a lever. So if you put pressure here and you pull this up, you're going to get a nice crisp finish. So do this way. Same thing like this. Do that. Press it out. Bam. You have a nice crisp t-shirt. So that's how you do crops. Now we have a sort of standard size t-shirt and flip it right side down. Now here I'm going to go from the top point of the shoulder or the neckline and bring that across, smooth it out, bring this piece back over so that determines our width and then same on the other side, over, smooth it out, back across, tuck the t-shirt sleeve in and now because this is a long one I'm actually going to tuck in the bottom edge so same thing if you use your hand as like the pivot point, fold that up, smooth, and then we'll do the same to fold the rest. And then you have a nice crisp t-shirt line and you can see what it is. Even if you see from the front, you know, oh, that's the so-and-so top because otherwise everything looks the same. And then you can stack them like this and you end up with a really neat finish and you can see what's what. Now this one is super duper long and it actually has a split at the side so we can still use the same process. Make sure it's all nice and flat and here we're going to make sure we grab both pieces. Fold that across and bring this piece back, other side, back. Smooth it all out, and then because this is a longer one, I'm going to fold quite a fair amount. So grab here, fold, and here, fold. Then you have a nice finished t-shirt, which again, you can stack with your other ones. So if you've got a long sleeve, this is a crop. I actually fold these separately to my t-shirts. You could fold it the same way as your t-shirt. I'll show you that. Make sure it's all flat. So it's kind of the same process. You bring from the corner of the neck across. That determines your width. But now you have this extra sleeve bit. So if it's nice and flat, you bring it across like this and then down. And if you've got like a crop like me, you can just bring this back up. So we do the other side, across, sleeve this way, back across, and then down. And then we can tuck it back up. And then you just fold it in half. So 
there you go. So that matches your other ones. It's a bit short and flat because it's cropped, but you can stack it with your t-shirts. Now, if you want to see that it's actually a long sleeve, instead of bringing that last sleeve down across, go back to this point and just crisscross it back and forth. So then you have an extra piece on the side, so when you flip it, it comes across the top and you can see that it's actually a long sleeve. Now, because I keep my long sleeves in a different section of my cupboard, um, you can even do this with ones that are detailed, ones that have turtleneck. I actually fold them a different way because they go in my drawers, so I'll show you that way. This time we go in half, sleeves across, make sure it's flat, then sleeves this way and down. I tuck the turtleneck down and then I fold it in half, then in half again. Now you end up with a bit like this, which actually stands on its own and you can fit it in your drawer. And you can see what it is by looking here. I'll show you the same thing with that stripy one. In half. Now this one's wider. So instead, when we bring the sleeve across, we bring a little bit of the t-shirt across. Sleeves down. Again, these are long sleeves, so that's okay. I bring them back up. And then I fold this in threes. So when you sit it up, it stands, and then you can stack it. They stack. And what if you have a muscle tank with no sleeves? Same process as the t-shirt. So face down, from the corner of the neck down here, we fold across, like this. Tuck in any excess. Then same on this side, you go in the middle. Across, smooth it all out. Now this one's quite long too, so we use our hand, bring this point up, smooth, up, and then you can sit it with your t-shirts. This is how I fold my skirts. Same process. So we go face down, into the middle, Smooth, cross, smooth, back, and then in half. Beautiful. Now this one has a zip in the center. We do the same process. So I can see the top of the zip here, so I'm going to try and keep this as my middle point. We go across, back, smooth, across, back, smooth, and then half. Now, she's not quite center. We can try again, or you can leave it like that. Who cares? You can do the same thing for sequins. It's just a little bit more fiddly. Go across, back, across, back, half. Now they're all even, and you can stack them nicely in your shelf. Now if you've got a longer skirt, like this one, it's the same process, you just fold the bottom up when you're done. So we go across, smooth, across, smooth, and now this one, because it's so long I'm going to fold it in three. So one up, two up, and there you have it. Now if you have any bits that are flopping out like this, you can just simply tuck it in with your hands press it. This is how I fold denim slash shorts. So if it's a plain jean, I fold it, fold it with the back pocket out. So we go, it's a bit hard to see because it's so long, but anyway, we go in half. So back pocket, line up your side seams. So we've got a seam here and a seam here, they match up. Now you have this extra little crotch bit, so you can either tuck it in on the inside like this, flat, or you can just tuck it in like this. So we have a nice 
even line the whole way across. Then you bring your pant leg up to the waistband, like here. And then the final edge up to the waistband. Press it flat, and then you have jean. If you've got something with detailing on the front and you want to differentiate between a black jean and a black jean, for example, if I fold it like this, who knows? But if I fold it like this, I know that this is this pair. So basically it's the exact same thing, just the opposite way. So we go back pockets, back pockets together. We want to line up the seams. I'll go to this way, like this. Bring your hem up to the waistband and then the hem up again. Now I can see this has studs on it and this one does not. What about shorts? So we've got some floaty shorts, some denim shorts. Again, these have something on the outside that I want to see. So you can fold it this way or you can fold it this way. Yes, they are new. I have not worn them. Don't judge. <laughs> so we'll start off with the floaty pair. Now I fold right sides together, so front sides together like this. You go across to the point of the waistband, but now you're going to have all this excess here. So we just bring that back across, flatten it out, tuck in any frilly bits, and then you fold it in half. There we go. Easy. And denim. Because I want to see what this side is so I know that they're my fancy shorts, I'm going to fold them the other way. So back sides together. So in half. Now we're going to have excess here so we fold this back across because we want it to be an even shape so they stack nicely. And then in half. Like so. Now they can stack. You got more. And more. So they're all nice and even, they hold their shape, and they stack well in the shelf. What about knitwear? This is a turtleneck, so we need to fold that a bit differently. So we go face down, grab from across here down, we want to pull that over, and you're going to have a sleeve. So it's very similar to the long sleeve, so you go across, down, press. Other side, across, like this. Now we have this extra turtleneck bit, I just tuck it in and then you fold it in half. Now you have a nice jumper. So across, sleeve, down, across, sleeve, down, half. Look at that. Wonderful. So this one, face down, we're going to go from here or down, across, Sleeve comes back like this, hold it, press down. If you have a little bit of excess here, just tuck it in. We'll go to the other side. Tuck it in, and then in half. Boom. If you've got a hood, same thing. Face down, ignore all the fluff and the stains. This is my house hoodie. Okay, across, sleeve down, press. Press. Now we fold in half and we also have this hood. So if you grab the top of the hood, pinch it and pull it. Press it flat. You can put it on the inside or the outside, it doesn't matter. Then we have these little tassel tag ties and I just tuck them into the hood. It 
there we go. Nice stack. What about pants or tights? So these are just my workout tights. Um, I just go, excuse all the fluff in the hair. I should probably have done this with clean stuff. <laughs> so we go front sides together like this. I make sure the edges are nice and taut, give it a pull. We've got to tuck the crotch in, then grab from the hem all the way up to the top. And then again, then I like to fold mine again. So when I put them in the shelf, they sit flat and I can stack them along this way. Same thing with trackies. So we go front sides together. Make sure the legs are nice and flat. These are very old and sad, but it's okay. Flat. Fold the crotch in. Hem up and up. Now that's just the same as jeans. Super easy. Now I don't really have singlet tops, but I do have bathers. And I figured it would be nicer to show you bathers than underwear. <laughs> so bathers are super easy. Just keep them nice and flat. Now I fold in side side and then crotch up now this is a high-waisted bikini so it's a little bit longer but you get the idea so that way again when I put them in my drawers they stack next to each other and then just for a bikini top same thing I just I think everyone does this just fold it tuck it and then they sit flat so these are my t-shirts we've got the muscle tank going in here crop yeah well actually we got to put the two long ones underneath there first like so and put that crop back on because the other levels ain't sitting flat so here I've just organized it kind of color this is all my really cropped crops this is my boxy crops this is kind of like basic tees with a crop on top because it won't fit anywhere else and this is my longer basic tees so you can see that they stack really nicely. You've even got ones with like a detail here. Doesn't matter, they still sit flat. And I can fit all of them in here and I know just by looking at the front of them, which one's what. So then this is my skirts. So I've just sorted it kind of into categories, I suppose. So we've got denim, um, basic A-line minis. We've got the fancy ones, so sequin or, I don't know, I guess not yet every day. Then down here is midi, longer, back up to minis. So, you can see too, they stack really well, and you can see just by looking straight at them, what's what. So, go down to denim, or jeans rather. That really annoys me that that seems there, but it's okay, because whatever. So then again, I've just sorted them. Um, if they don't have anything on them, I've done pocket up. Whereas if they do have detail, I've done that out. So when I look at it, I can differentiate between my black jeans. Um, here's shorts, same deal, plain, special. And then this is like the cloth or the fabric ones. Then down to knits, which for some reason is very close. Um, I've just split it again, sort of categories, I suppose, darker, pink and then because I have so many knits there's actually stuff behind it so more and slide that across more but you can see how many I can fit in here and they stack nice and I can tell what's what just by looking straight away At the very bottom I have my hoodies currently that are not in the wash so um, this isn't really sorted in any particular way but again I can see you know this is the sequin detailing this is plain black um, and this is my fun vintage one and yeah it's super tidy now if you saw my bag haul they're all stored in the back here just stacked so again I can see very easily I can just pull this out have a sus and see what's what that's my shelves in terms of hanging space I changed all of my hangers to be these flat felt ones because nothing falls off and you can fit a lot more in here than the plastic ones. Um, it's not really, uh, it's kind of sorted. I don't love it. There's actually this join right here um, in the middle of my wardrobe that makes it a bit difficult to get in and out. 
Um, this is kind of sorted into my work stuff. Oh, <laughs> not that. But this chunk here is like work stuff. Here is pants and so on. So I don't fold my pants. I find it's much easier if you hang them up. And I've just put them on a hanger like this, folded it in half with two each. That way you can fit so much more. Um, that also includes skirts. So there's a skirt there, pants there. I just fold them in half. I'm really sorry about that blue dot. My camera is broken and all of the shops are closed so I can't fix it. But, oh my gosh. So yeah, you can just see more pants, two together, skirts, culottes, so on. Um, yeah, it's all very easy. Now this is my shoe section that I haven't really shown because it's kind of like my meh shoes like basic sneakers and stuff um but these two tier shoe racks are really helpful if you want to store your shoes that way and you have dead space in the bottom of your wardrobe alternatively oh if you have space under your bed you can do the same thing now i flip mine one facing forward one facing back because you can fit so much more in the space for example pull this out one whole pair fits in there. What? Whereas, if we were to do it this way, they won't fit. So we go one in, smush, then this one in. Love it. So I've got shoes under my bed. Then I am sure you have seen my shoe shelf. Now, I've recently rearranged it, not loving it, but it's okay. So shoe shelf, I just have same deal, heel, one facing out, one facing forward. You can fit so much more. And if you've got like chunky ones, I try and keep them together. Whereas these ones, for example, are much smaller. So you can actually fit quite a lot. So this one I have two, four, six, seven. Whereas this one, I can fit two, four, six, seven. If I shuffle across, I can fit an eighth pair. Whereas you could not do that if you had them both this way. Plus, I think it's much more aesthetically pleasing to have them one one. You can see what your heel likes. Maybe you're feeling a thick heel. Maybe you're feeling a thin heel. Maybe you're feeling a perspex heel. Who knows? Um, for some reason, I have a giant stick here and that's where I put all my scarves. It, it works. I just lean it up. Here. And yeah, it works. So you can see I've put my new ones here. Heel out. Otherwise, like, okay, you've got these beautiful. What if you have a thousand black boots like me and you've got them that way? And you're like, ooh, where are those flame heels? Where are they? They're here. So if you don't have as many shoes as me, you could also use a little shelf and it does the same job. And you just split it. I find color, or you can try and keep heel types together. Ooh, ignore that. That's where I used to hang hooks. <laughs> so you can keep them, um, yeah, color or heel types or whatever. Um, and again, if you alternate them, I'll just show you an example, actually. Let's just pretend this one, right? So we'll go take them off. And I'm going to flip them. Let's say we're going to go front facing. Front facing. Oh, where, where do I put this one? So, flip. Oh, too bad. Magically, we can fit a whole nother shoe. So definitely recommend doing that. Now this is where I keep all my bags. It's not aesthetically pleasing, but it's functional. I just have one of these over the door hooks and I've hooked them on different ones. So like, for example, I have my less used ones underneath here because as you can tell, there is a lot, a lot of bags on this section. Then I've also got this little, what are they called? You know, full of little bags, which I should actually show you how I fold too. That's a really great idea. I'll toot my own horn. So I go, oh, this is hard one-handed. Half, half. Then I pinch and roll. 
This is very hard one-handed. Then I bunch the handles together and wrap it. Wow, how do you do this one-handed? Wrap it the whole way around and then tuck in these floppy bits into the strap. So now you have your bag and I keep one of these in my handbags. Handbags? Handbag because it's so small and you never know when you need a bag. I also have this chest of drawers. So we go here. This is my bikini slash bathers. So I've got all the bottoms this way and I can tell what's what. It's not color coordinated. I'll get there. Then I have tops. Half, half, half. So on. And these are my long sleeves. Same here. And this way you can fit so much more. And when you're looking in your drawer, you can see them. They're facing up. So love that. Then I have my active wear. So I've got sports bras here. They're just sitting flat so you can see them. I don't like to fold them too much. Then I've got my uh, workout tights here. Now, I know which shade is what black tight, but you know. And then at the back here, I have some tops like so and shorts here. And that is a miscellaneous thing of trackies and a buttload of beanies. If you fold them, fold them, stack them, pom-pom alternating, so like pom-pom, pom-pom, then we go this way, then you go that way, you can fit a lot more. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you get some good tips and tricks to help reorganize your closet space or your wardrobe to maximize the space you have and also to help you find things and style outfits a lot easier. Let me know if you have any other tips and tricks that you think would be helpful to tidy and organize your wardrobe.